video I'm going to quickly show you how you can optimize your listings especially the description section of the listing uh, in a nice way so that you can be looking professional I know you have a lot of videos online showing you how to use the HTML to do that but sometimes uh, those videos are a bit confusing so I found this video and it took me to a website which gives the code the HTML code which is quite simple so I've done it and I'm going to show you uh, how it looks so this is my uh, one of my listings page I've done it on this one as I can see the listing here so if I scroll down here you would have the description and here is the HTML code for you know my description so you notice I have a header here and I created this header in Canva and I'm going to give you the dimensions of this header so you can actually go to Canva and create a header just like this uh, well not exactly like this but something that would represent your your shop you know or your store and you notice I did even this part of it uh, because what is going to happen is that when you get the code and you upload it to your listing you are going to get the header that the code has which is somebody else's header and you don't really want to use someone else's header so you have the header and then you have a subheader here we we'll just call it subheader and then here you could put the title if you notice the title that is up here this title here that's what you would copy and paste here and it's the same thing you just copy and paste in and then you have the image but the cool thing about this and how do you get this image you just get it from the main image up here this main image so you'd actually like you want this image you would right click on it and then you would go down to where it says um where is it um we get image link uh, i can't remember now but i'm going to show you in the code um how, how i got it there uh so i have this image here right in the middle here and you'll notice it looks really neat and then here you start your description so you can easily edit this so all you're going guys all you're going to be adding is the description in the middle here so after you get the template you're not really going to change much apart from the description so you have the description there if you scroll down who we are so you know once you fill this out for all your other listings you don't necessarily have to go and interfere with this again so this will remain the same and the payment section again would remain the same so all of this would come with the code and then you can just edit as you notice i edit mine so that it doesn't read the same way like what i got on the code so i edit this and then uh, the shipping section again it's almost going to remain the same and then the returns policy again this would just remain the same and then you have your money back guarantee here customer satisfaction remain the same and then this footer section as you can see i just put a copyright at lenware design so it really looks professional here yeah so that's uh, the html code for this and when you do this guys people will shoppers will come to your site and they'll say this guy is really serious about his shop so it's not a rush thing where you just do any and anything and that's it so it really looks professional so i'm going to show you um how i got the codes but before i do that let me go into the listing so this is really the listing here and if i could just uh, scroll down so here you have the html code here so normally we would use the standard code where you would just um type just like using any normal word editor to type but here you have the html code so this is what you're going to get here so what i'm going to do i'm going to come back to this but i'm going to go to the website where i got this code so if you go to this website here and it's called easy ds tool which i'll leave the link of uh, this website in the description of the video so this is the website that i got the html code from so you notice if you scroll down 
free eBay template and it says get started. If you come here, scroll down here, you'll see some templates here so you could get this. Obviously Christmas is gone. So you could get this one if you want to. You just click on get it or you could even click on the demo to see how it looks. But the one I went for and Halloween is gone also. So the one I went for uh, is um, this one, bestseller on eBay. So it says get get it or get the demo. So if we click on the demo, you will see how it looks. So this is what you're going to get when you copy copy the code. So obviously, like for me, I wouldn't want to have this header because this header would belong to someone else. Even though you can keep this, but you wouldn't want to be looking like somebody else. So you can change this, I just like what I did, and I change the color, and then I just create my own. The same kind of thing, but I create my own using Canva again to create your own. You notice I have mine in red. This is in blue. Then you have the product title here, and then you would put your image here, the description, just like what I showed you before everything is the same and here this is where I actually change the words and I could easily show you a site where you can you could like copy all of this if you don't want it to be reading the same you just copy all of this paste it into this into that tool on the site and it would just rephrase everything for you so you would have unique content here it's the same for this you just rephrase it in that tool and it will create re um, uh, rephrase content for you customer satisfaction and then design by easy so this is a website easy ds tool.com so what i'm going to do now if i go back to where is it now if i go back here so all you need to do to get this is to just say get get it and then you would see the html code and you even have a video which shows you how to do it so you can watch this video to show you how to do it and then all you would do is you would copy all of this so this is HTML code that you would copy so you just copy all of this here I've done it already copy the code here and then you go back over to your listing uh, where is it now and this is where you would paste um, the code so after you paste the code, what you're going to do, uh, if you want to change the image, you could actually look, um, I could just show you where the image would be. So you, the first image would be, would be here from here to here. So all of this you need to, um, you need to change. And I'm going to show you how you can, I'm going to show you a site where you can actually go and upload because you have to upload that image onto a site on the internet where you can get access to that image and so that's the header and then the subheader that i showed you it would be in the second line here that is this one and you do the same thing you come to the border here and that's what you would replace from here all the way to the border here and now if you look at the dimensions for the first one here this one I'm going to show you the dimension of the of the image that you need to get um, to replace both of these. So that's what you would do and then um, that big image I was telling you about, um, here is it, 700, it was 800 by I think 6 something, I changed mine to 700 because it's kind of too big on mobile. Yeah, so that's where you would get um, the size for this image here. So when you come back here, now you'd have this. Where you, would, you can design this in Canva, and you would design um, this. Let me get the the dimensions. I think I have the dimensions somewhere here. So where is it now? So like, <coughs> sorry, uh, like the dimensions for for this for this big one. Here, I think it's 1260 by 1260 by 250, and um, this other one again is the same 1260. I think it's 1260 by by um, 100. But let me go and see. Um, so after you have have your code here, what you need to do, you need to come to this site, which I'm going to leave the link again in the description. 
so you can come to this site and it's called IMG BB so what you can actually do you can create an account here free account and you can upload that image into this site for free so I've already created an account so I could just easily sign in and you notice it says star so you could easily sign into this site here uh, you can sign in easily with Google and you notice here is the, 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 the two images that are uploaded so you just upload these images to the site and if I should click on edit for this one I want to try and find the so the embed code section is is this is what you're going to copy for the embed code um, so what you would do you would actually click on view viewer links then you would click down here and then where it says HTML code what you would do you would click on this and here you would need to copy this all of this and that's what you're going to bring over into the code where I showed you uh, where to copy. So you just copy all of this. So first you come to embed code and then you go to image code. Then you copy all of this. And you do the same thing for this one. And then you would come back to your, your listing. And you go into the HTML code and then you would highlight this all of this just like I showed you and that's where you would paste it and you do the same thing for the small one highlight this and you paste it there uh, what I'm going to do in the description of the video I'm going to leave the dimensions for, for these two for the heading and the subheading because I can't remember what it is now so I'm going to leave the dimension there and after you've done that guys once you go back to standard normally it would automatically save so now you would have your own design header design and then you would have as I say you can go to Canva and you can create all of this easily in your free account and these are editable so if I should click on this you notice I can easily edit this so that's where you would have your title and then you have your image oh yeah to get the image um, you enlarge this and then you right click on it yeah and then you say copy image link so you would copy this link and then you go back to your code and then you would look for that image alt image width 700 well obviously um, your width and height would be different so that's so this is where you're going to you're going to copy um, you're going to paste the information that that you have copied starting from the image put the width and everything in and that's it guys I just save it uh, scroll up so you save it and then you would have this this image here and for all the other listings all you need to do is just to save that that um, this HTML code just save it onto a notepad and then you always just going to paste this information into your new listing and just change you don't have to change the header again all you're going to do is just change in the image inside here again and um, then you have your you paste the description in and as I said before you don't need to interfere with any of this once you do it first um, the first time around you don't need to do it again so that would really make it easy and would make your site looks professional so when you're finished you would get something looking like this so I do hope that this little video will help you and that you know you would have your listing you know well set up like a nice uh, listing page and it, that will increase your sales I just started eBay uh, like a couple months ago I, I joined it in 2018 started a couple months ago and already uh, I just made four sales which amounts to over 800 pounds already uh, so you know doing things professionally and having your listings looking professionally trust me you will it will increase your sales because you know your, your potential customers will trust you even more so 
So thanks again for watching and catch you in another video.